Hello, attackers, and welcome to the year-end episode of Attack On Show. I'm Rob E, and I just wanted to take a quick minute of your time and say thank you to all the attackers out there for all of your continued support. We've had an interesting 2022, to say the least, starting out with Patrick, who we missed dearly and departed, but Jay Marsh came back and he didn't skip a beat. And I did want to say one more thing, if I could. What? What? I thought you had something else to say. We enjoyed going to a few comic cons and taking you guys to them with us, along with reviewing some amazing movies, some great TV shows, and also finding those independent shorts on YouTube. And also, one of the highlights of this year was the growth of News Attack, which I think many of you enjoyed. We get a lot of great feedback on that. And as a way of saying thank you, we've compiled the best of. So enjoy some News Attack. Christian Bale recently thanked Leonardo DiCaprio, uh -huh. uh, saying, and I quote, any role that anybody gets is only because Leonardo DiCaprio passed on it, which led to a passionate fuck you from Jared Leto for Leonardo <laughs> passing up on Morbius. Everyone is upset about the crew in Boba Fett with their retro speeders, right? The Vespas. See, I don't know why everybody's upset. I think Star Wars is just trying to get into this multiverse thing like everyone else, so they're just trying to bring the Power Rangers into Star Wars. <laughs> I love it. So go, go Power Rangers! <laughs> Eminem's is said to be uh, changing his characters to become more inclusive. Uh, uh, for instance, the green Eminem, who uh, previously was seen wearing seductive heels and <laughs> striding her stuff in white go-go boots, uh, she's now going to sport a pair of sneakers. Uh, no word yet on if they're going to add the transgender Eminem who will identify as a Skittle. <laughs> but 50-year-old Dean Cook announced his engagement to his 24-year-old girlfriend. Is there a punchline? Dean Cook is the punchline. <laughs> uh, Denise Richards is uninjured after an apparent road rage incident that led somebody to shoot at the rear end of her vehicle oh. on her way to an LA film set. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, I mean, I know what you're thinking. Like, these things have to stop. I mean, who is still hiring Denise Richards to be in film? <laughs> uh, so Deadpool's TJ Miller? Yes. I don't know if you heard this this week. He, uh, in an interview, stated that he will not work with Ryan Reynolds again oh, no. uh, in, in, in a Deadpool movie. Um, he stated that his feelings were hurt, had something to do with some insults that were made on stage. So this will probably be the last time any of us ever hear the name T.J. Miller. <laughs> That's actually the first time I've heard it in a long time. Yes, right. <laughs> Craig Robinson's recent stand-up comedy appearance was halted when an active shooter entered the venue. Which is weird, because I had no idea he was doing shows at shopping malls. <laughs> <laughs> With all the hype of Netflix monster, the Jeffrey Dahmer story, online shoppers are hoping to score some Jeffrey Dahmer-inspired gear for Halloween. Oh. Yeah. Are nice. now officially out of luck, though, Rob. Why is that? Oh, eBay has pulled the plug on the costumes paying homage to the killer. Hmm. I, I mean, I don't understand. I think idolizing a person for committing murder is revolting. Just absolutely revolting. What? I mean, it's not like people are going to eBay to dress up like Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye West just announced that he's going to purchase the social platform Parlor. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. huge news. Uh, and his first big announcement is that he wants to clean up all the bots on a social media platform. Oh, good, good, yes. yeah. That way you know for sure you're interacting with a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> so that A Christmas Story is getting a, a true sequel, not the crappy A Christmas Story 2 that they did, that they tried years ago. A true sequel where Ralphie is coming back as an adult. My question is, I wonder if Flick is going to be reprising his role. Because if so, I mean, what a resume. The man's got pornos and a Christmas story. On his resume. <laughs> uh, Kelly Rowland recently shushed crowds at the American Music Awards for booing Chris Brown for winning Best R&B Artist. Oh, okay. Uh, she later stated that uh, we all need to be forgiven for anything we can be doing and anything that we're thinking. We all come up short in some sort of way and grace is real. Yeah, that that's quotes. Okay. Uh, this immediately drew huge praise from people such as R. Kelly, 
Bill Cosby, and Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Um, in post-trial motions filed by Amber Heard's lawyers this week, um, it, she, they were arguing that uh, one of the jurors may have not been vetted properly. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Seems to be a clerical error of sorts. Okay. Yeah, someone looks like someone really shit the bed on that one. Because <laughs> <laughs> she... Yeah. Yes, the, yes, the, yes, yeah, yeah. After the success of Hocus Pocus 2, Disney recently announced that Sister Act 3 is now going into production, and the long list continues of... 80s movies getting their sequels like 9 to 5, which has already been getting greenlit, uh, with a working title of 9 to, oh, you thought you were leaving? <laughs> Kim Kardashian lost 16 pounds in three weeks on a crash diet to fit into her vintage dress for the Met Gala. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It seemed the diet consisted of no sugar and no carbs at all. Interesting enough, though, I looked into it, um, she could eat all the wieners she wanted. <laughs> it should be fine. Netflix just announced that it is renewing Monster for two more seasons and it'll become an anthology series focusing on other monstrous figures. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no word yet on if Rosie O'Donnell or Kathy Griffin have reached an agreement. <laughs> <laughs> Henry Cavill just got to announce that he's gonna star and executive produce in Warhammer 40K series on Amazon. Wow. Which I just think is super, man. <laughs> Literally, ladies and gentlemen, the best joke of the night, right there. That was it. Like, that was it. And there you have it, the 2022 Best of News Attack. Thank you for watching. If you haven't by now, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button below. We look forward to bringing you all new content in 2023, especially that news attack. That thing's always fun to do. But until then, please have a safe and happy new year. I'm your host, Rob E., and this is Attack on Show.